welcome back to my channel today as you can see I am going to be washing my beauty sponges and my my metal palettes as well as for my brushes and I'm going to be showing you exactly what I use um, so one of the things that I use is the so I use Dawn soap to clean the brushes this is actually, I want to say it's a disinfectant. It's also a whitening agent because it does contain a little bit of bleach. 91% rubbing alcohol or just put it in here so it's easier um, for me to use. Uh, I have, then I also have this, this little stand, this little rack. And my husband got this for me for Christmas. And so I'll just, when I'm done washing my brushes, then I'll put them in with the bristles facing down. So that way um, the water doesn't go into the barrel of the, of the, um, the makeup brush. So, uh, and then you can cause for it to rot or to just slip apart. But that's what I, so that's everything that I use. And so let's get started. Go ahead and show you. Um, this is my Shani Cosmetics and this is a foundation brush. It is super filthy. This is my go-to brush to apply foundation. Um, the same thing with this one. And this one. So these are my three go-to foundation brushes. And you can see how dirty they are, and I'm going to show you right now exactly how I wash these. Then I go in and I grab a little bit of my so my Dawn soap, and I clean it off this way. So you can either do circular motions, or you can just go up and down. And I do a little bit of both, just so I know that um, it's actually getting cleaned. And this isn't even using the jabón, um, the sote. This is just with that, but the jabón sote. And right now that it's wet, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my, my, my alcohol, my 91%, and I'm going to spray it. Now you, um, I tend to do it twice. I tend to do it right now that it's wet and then when it dries and the bristles are more open, um, I go in and I spray again. Just so I know that it is um, fully sanitized and fully um, clean and hygienic for uh, my next client. I'm going to do the same process all over again. Now I'm grabbing the jabón uh, from the brand Sote. This soap you can actually find at a Food for Less, you can find at Walmart. Um, I found it in, I actually found this one at Walmart in, um, in Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, because we went to the Grand Canyon. Yes, so it was in Arizona. And so, um, I just I found it and I was like oh because all the ones that I've been able to find were normally the yellow bar of soap which does the same thing they're 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 actually for clothes and they're um they have whitening agent in it so um 
If you use this bar, you will notice that your hands do get a little bit dry. So it will be very important for you to go ahead and um, use lotion afterwards. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wash these later. I wanna move on to the other ones and show you how I wash my other brushes. So because I use a lot of products that are waterproof, right there, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same steps that I did for the other ones. It helps dissolve a little bit more. Um, it helps break down the gel a little bit more. you can see right there and so now right here again you can see how clean they are no more product on them. Same thing, grabbing my alcohol. I'm going to spritz them. And these I'm actually going to lay on my, on my white napkin right here. I'm just gonna lay them flat like this, giving them enough space for, um, for them to get air dried. I, and the reason I'm not putting them up here is because it's very little bristles. Um, very little bristles you don't um, and very thin so you don't need that much um, it doesn't take that much for them to dry um, compared to your um, your foundation brushes now moving on to my other brushes let me see and gently in circular motions Go ahead and I put them in the little uh, brush rack. Although it may seem like a lot of steps, as a makeup artist, I want to take my precautions. I want to be safe and I want to make sure that I'm not going to um, jeopardize another client's um, health by transmitting any skin irritations or any infections that a, a prior client might have had that we weren't aware of um, or we didn't see off the bat. You just put them at ease, um, letting them know that you take really good care of your stuff and that you do everything possible to um, for uh, sanitation purposes. This one isn't cleaning as well, so I'm just going to put that one to the side. So just for the purpose of this video, I've been spraying them immediately. But um, I'm just going to continue to wash all of them. And at the end, I'm going to go ahead and spray them all at once at one time with the alcohol. I just wanted you guys to see basically um, what the process is or my um the process that I take and not because it's a cheaper brush am I going to treat it any more different than my other brushes they're going to go through the same cleaning process and the same disinfecting process as well as the same drying process Okay, so you guys already see, um, I'm pretty sure you guys already get the hang of what I do in my, in my process. I'm going to go ahead and finish washing my, my other um, shadow brushes and I'll be right back. 
move on to washing my um, beauty sponges and as you can see they are dirty they're, they're stained and I'm going to show you how I do this now I do this the same way that I did my brushes um, the only thing is that I'm not going to be using my little contraption so I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off Gonna go ahead and spray it with alcohol. Oops. And I'm going to place it to dry on my little rack. <clears throat> I'm going to rub it on here and you can see that there's still plenty of foundation coming off. Now that the brushes are done, and so is the, and so are the um, sponges, I'm going to be grabbing my wax paper, just placing my my bar of soap on there, and I place it on the window, so when the sun comes out tomorrow, it will dry it up. And that's where I leave it. And I can remove this to the other side. Now I'm moving on to my palettes. I still use my Dawn soap. I put it on here and I go in with this metal bristle. And that's where I go in and I scrape all this off. the other palette and then I just go ahead and put it to the side the same thing and just let it let it dry so now that I'm done with all of the washing I'm going to go in with my alcohol and I'm just going to spray everything including my brush, my sponges, my palettes, the top of my the top of my brushes.
and I'm just going to let them sit here and I'm going to allow them to air dry and there you have it that's pretty much all I do I take the same exact steps um, this is just something that I learned in school uh, and it's all about sanitation and um, and the care of others so I hope this video was informative um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys liked it um, if you do like it and would like to see more videos please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you for joining me today I hope you guys have a great evening or a great day bye bye